yesterday was a great day and today's Monday and so far um, I was doing great got the kids ready got them to school and done a turn to social media to make some content look at some uh, comments and get feedback on different videos I posted yesterday and y'all just hate me I'm just getting so much harassment and I'm being called a piece of shit mom horrible mother and all these comments are stemming from one person who was spreading it if you know who I'm talking about this will all be over soon and then I'll be able to tell you guys the full truth and what's going on but like right now please just like keep your comments to yourself because I'm trying to keep my mental health in check but I still gotta work I still gotta like I said, post content, make videos for you guys, and I'd like to keep you guys updated with real content and not just complaining or talking about my situation all the time. So yeah, <laughs> update. Been crying. Been crying for like 30 minutes. I know y'all see me all the time on TikTok and you're like, oh, she's so happy. She doesn't care. I do care about what's going on. I just try not to film myself when I'm so depressed, you know? But I need to keep reminding myself I've been through way worse in the past and this will pass. This too shall pass. I think what hurts me the most is that my own parent would do this to me. My own parent caused this whole storm, shit storm. It just hurts because I would never treat my children that way. And I don't care what any y'all say, I would never treat my children that way. And I have broke my generational curse. I know I have. And I know that I will treat my children with love and respect. And I will, if they need my help, I will give them my help without making them feel like a burden. Then you hand me my son back and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna take him away again. Like, come on, dude. When is it gonna stop? I needed the beach, right, babe? That's right. Be 